Hello, hello, hello. Welcome to our adventure. So this uh, time we're going to Sandbar. So it's close to Forster. So yep, I'm setting up my rig. And double check, triple check. Before we head out. So as you can see, the caravan is connected to the car already. Yep. Need to check the fridge as well. If it's working, because I got something there that will gonna melt. Especially my ice cream. And some bait as well. So yep, fridge is good to go. So yep, we reach in sandbar. So this is the shop where you can buy the four-wheel drive access going to the beach. So uh, you got like an annual pass here for 100 bucks so i think it's better to take the annual pass i guess so yep um deflating the tires as of the moment there as you can see so uh, yeah that's that's the area like that's the sandbar caravan holiday park and then the entrance is just right there where i parked the car so that's the campsite right there. So we're gonna be staying there for two days. So as you can see, yeah, it's full, fully packed. Yeah, because it's Easter. So the ships of people around. So it's fun though, it's good for the kids. They can like just play along. Got like people everywhere. So that's my rig right there. So yep as you can see my wife is like taking some stuff out from the car so yeah that, that's this is the caravan uh bushland caravan park in sandbar so yep that's the shop over there so this is the entrance going to the beach so there's like cameras there so it's really secured so don't take chances if you're gonna go inside it. Make sure you buy the get the permit. Because you don't want to like, get in trouble inside and get to get fined and not like obeying the rules. So yeah, that's uh, the way going inside the beach. And the beach is really amazing. As you can see like there's plenty of fish around and then yeah I'm it's like it's like a paradise so here there's heaps of like water there makes the car a bit dirty but what can you do yeah that's the only road going there so just take chances then just wash it afterwards so yeah wow so we're almost there so look at that look at the view right there Ooh. amazing see yes so yeah they said like life is hard actually life depends on how you think life is so if it's hard just just like chill then and then just go with the flow yeah don't make it harder then yeah it's challenges in life are like part of it so there's some challenges it's like that makes life worth living i guess yeah so here just enjoying it with the kids kids and the family as well some friends so look at that so that's the lakeside yeah that's so it's it's a bitch uh, it's really good for kids swim, swim. Uh, look, at, look at how Toby is enjoying it. Uh, so these are really the moments. You can't like 
Oh, like worth living? Look. Yeah, right here. Yeah, and that's the area we, where we fish. There's plenty of fish around. I've got like for like just an hour or like less than an hour. Just on the edge right there, close to the rocks. Got bream and flathead. And then of course, catch and cook it was really good. And then, yeah, as you can see, that's a rig up, rig up, up there, uh, down there. And then I set up my solar. So the solar that I've got is, uh, it's a solar blanket. So I can like set it up if I know like the battery is running out of power. Because I got like a spare battery at the back. Uh giving power to the fridge so look at that how perfect the place is to be yeah i would love to go back there again to fish beach drive then just enjoy and relax with the family yeah so you can see that's a whole 360 from uh, our setup right there so we are almost there so there you go yep so that's like the surfers got that jet ski over there instead of like swimming so that they can go to like deeper water and then to wait for like a good or a perfect wave these guys are like legend they just like drive drive them around just like a rope at the back of the jet ski so they're just gonna hang there and then the jet ski we're gonna drive them uh on on, on uh, like the deeper part of the water and then wait for a good uh, wave to form and then that's the time they're all gonna surf how good is that and it's a lot safer so once they get knocked, knocked down this jet ski we're gonna go and pick them up so this is how they load the jet ski back to the trailer it's not that hard so as you can see they're just gonna like uh, align the trailer to the jet ski and then winch it yeah, easy. So see. No, ask mommy. It's, it's letting the winch do the do the pulling. I think this uh, jet ski is not too heavy, I guess. No, how cool is that? So launching and retrieving the jet ski from the beach. Cool. I know it's hard because you know. There's like waves pushing the jet ski back and then the car might stack as well and then yeah worst thing worst things that are gonna happen is like your car will gonna bug so look at that surfer right there Ooh, that was almost perfect yeah I, I tried to look for a shark as well like or like some like presence of fish but yeah I didn't see any look at that so this is why they call it sunbar it's literally like a sunbar so from the beach and then there's like the lake so they said this the the lake and the beach uh sometimes like get connected and then uh, yeah so if it gets connected it, you can't go to the area where i parked the car where i used to fish like closer to the rack on the edge yep because they said yeah i think if it's a king tide it ha it happened like the the lake and the beach are like joining 
Yeah, look at that. That's like a paradise. Stunning. Yeah, I would like to go back here again. Just enjoy the view and also the sunset. How good is that? There you go. They said like on the corner, on the like left, left hand side, they said that's the point where the water from the lake goes to the beach. Yeah. Amazing, eh? Yeah. But this time of a day, we were not that lucky because it's a bit windy. Good thing the drone managed to fly, even if, even if uh, the wind is strong. Yeah, I think this day it was like 26. So yeah, so, while my kids having a swing, but yeah, I think my kid is like scared. So it's good for the back, back to where the lake is, rather than there. It's safer for him. So at this moment, we got that uh, brim. So yeah, my kid is really happy seeing the fish that I caught and then it was like good size too so uh, we managed to like cook it make it as our lunch how good is that so you can see it from there yeah that's a good size brim right there yeah like that so he's not scared with the fish so yep that's my fish right there so that's our setup of greed so we got like beers eggs drinks we got like ice cream as well bait what is that yep that's it to cool me down in a hot weather you need ice cream Sugar booster. So yeah, look at that. Look at that view right there. So yeah, that's it. So Toby is now sleeping. So he's having his rest after a long day. Yeah. So yep, that's all like extra space right there. A caravan owning. So um, if it's uh, if there's no toilet like especially at night time, but this this uh, caravan park got amenities on it. So the shower, there's toilets too. And you can wash dishes dishes as well. But if not like uh, at night time, we rather like go to the side there, and then close it, and then just we in a portable bucket. Yeah. So that's our setup right there. So actually, we're just uh, still new in camping. So uh, we're not that pro yet. So each time we camp, we learn new things. Then yeah, but one thing's for sure, we are enjoying the places that uh, we've been. And then, yep. Yeah, it motivates us to like do more yeah it's a bit of a struggle though because um, um too many things to set up too many things to think as well but uh yeah it's all worth it yeah when you when you're in, in that place then relaxing having a good music and then looking at the surroundings looking at the people playing 
laughing, just relaxing. Yeah, that makes everything good. See you next week.